welcome to the 2022 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge presented by Link ECU. This is now the 14th consecutive year we've held the event at Cootamundra Airport and, like every year, it provided plenty of thrills and spills as some of the quickest true street GTRs in Australia hit the runway. In this episode of our coverage, we are looking at the manual equipped GTRs, which are split into RB26 block and RB30 block subcategories. So the manual category is really why the event started in the first place. A teenage Andrew watching GTRs running nines on the streets and tracks of Japan in the late 90s. A lot has changed, but a lot has stayed the same since then. Let's check them out. Ben's b &R GTR R32 is a new build from Motorsports Mechanical. He came in looking for around 1,000 horsepower, but left with around 1,000 kilowatts, with 1,360 horsepower at the hubs. Even more impressive is the fact that it's a 2.8 litre stroker rather than the usual 3.2. The head is rather serious to make that power with the Garrett G42 turbocharger on a 6 boost manifold with TurboSmart 60mm external wastegate, Hypertune intercooler and Hypertune V2 inlet manifold and radiator setup. Electronics comprise of a Howtech Elite 2500 ECU, Bosch 82mm drive-by-wire throttle along with Platinum Racing Products, R35 coil pack kit and trigger kit. Inside, it's clean and fairly stock with a Motec C127 digital dash and the lockout shifter gear lever for the PPG 5-speed dog engagement gear set. The exterior is also clean and fairly stock with Gramlite 17-inch wheels wrapped in Mickey Thompson drag radials around F40 Brembo brakes up front. The new setup hadn't been tested yet and it didn't all go to plan and there was no full power runs completed as Ben got used to the car, but it certainly has plenty of potential. <laughs> Tim's R33 GTR from IPM Racing could be considered a veteran at Cootamundra Airport now and has already gone low nines. Like at most events, he came with a new and bigger setup looking to go quicker and faster. The Nitto 3.2 stroker engine is the same but now sports a precision 8685 turbocharger on a 6 boost manifold with turbo smart external wastegate. A truss drag intercooler feeds the Plasma Man inlet manifold. There is R35 coils and a Howtech Elite 2500 ECU. There is some nitrous on board to help get the turbo on boost and the car has made as much as 1300 horsepower which is transferred through a 6 speed sequential transmission. Inside it's all business with Racetech seats, roll cage and Howtech IC7 digital dash. Tim and the team from IPM Racing only got in a few runs as they tried to dial in the new setup. Ahmed's R32 GTR AK32 may look familiar to some viewers as the old War 32R, which it is, but it's now in the motorsports mechanical camp. Uh, well, yeah, at the moment we're just happy to test the car out. It is a new setup for us. We've put the engine all back together for the customer. Um, setup wise, it's, it's how the car has been bought, um, but we're, yeah, we're just going to try and beat our own times at the moment uh, and just get to know the car a bit better. He used Peter Wolf as his stand-in model, but can you blame him with that beautiful face and intoxicating charisma? When you have one of the best-looking R32 GTRs, you need the best-looking man to have ever raced at Cootamundra Airport to stand by it. Perhaps pause the video so you can take it all in. One of the best GTR engine bays around is still as it was, using a precision 7685 turbocharger, 6 boost exhaust manifold with a turbo smart external wastegate, Hypertune intercooler and V1 inlet manifold with a Howtech Elite 2500 ECU making a little over 1150 horsepower. Inside you can see the custom trim, roll cage and Samsonis 6 speed sequential transmission. 
Exterior mods include the custom grey respray, front lip, side skirt extensions, rear pods, rear wing extension and motive headlight duct. 15 inch buddy clubs wrapped in drag radials are used at the track. The car has gone 8-9 before, but Ahmed only got one run in on the first day with the new setup, so we didn't get to see what the car could really do at this event. Jaden's Thumper R32 GTR may also look familiar as the old MSM RH9, built and tuned by Motorsports Mechanical. It still runs the Nitto 2.8 litre stroker, but now sports a precision 8385 turbocharger on a six boost manifold with a turbo smart external wastegate, a tried and proven combo. Boost blows into the factory six throttles via a hypertune inlet and it's all controlled by a Howtech Elite 2500 ECU. A Samsonas six-speed sequential is now fitted to the car to transfer up to 1200 horsepower to the 15-inch Buddy Club wheels wrapped in Mickey Thompson ET drag radials. Externally, the car runs side skirt extensions, N1 lip spoiler, bonnet lip and vents, and runs an early prototype motive headlight duct. Inside, the Recaro seats and custom retrim give the car a unique look. Being his first time at Cootamundra and new to the car, Jaden went out on SP1 boost level and more like a thousand horsepower, but still went straight into the nines. in the manual GTRs at the 2022 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge was our very own R32 Skyline GTR Project Supercar Killer, which is now starting to live up to its name. It runs a PRP prepped RB30 block that is half grout filled with a PRP brace and CRD enlarged sump. Inside is a Nitto 3.2 wide journal stroker kit and Nitto billet oil pump ensuring a strong rotating assembly, which is put together by Croydon Racing Developments. Up top, there is a CID race ported head, and it uses the entire Nitto catalogue of parts, including the head gasket. The turbo is a Garrett G45 1500 on a six boost twin scroll manifold with a TurboSmart 60 mm external wastegate. The exhaust is a custom four inch by CID with two AES mufflers. The turbo blows through a Hypertune 100 mm intercooler into a Hypertune six throttle inlet manifold. There is a PRP R35 coil kit and a Howtech Elite 2500 ECU. It makes 1,040 horsepower at the hubs on just over 31 PSI, which is transferred via Direct Clutch Services twin plate clutch to the PPG six-speed sequential transmission. Inside, there is some custom trim work by Concept Garage with Velo seats and a custom roll cage by Chris Spicer. The exterior has been custom wrapped in our Motive style livery by All Stuck Up and underneath it is a top secret carbon bonnet, concept garage front bumper, N1 side skirts, rear pods and carbon boot lip spoiler and carbon group A mirrors from Garage Active. The wheels are Buddy Club 18 by 10s for the street, but 17 inch versus wheels wrapped in 275 Mickey Thompson ET Street R's for the track. We finally cracked into the nines on our first pass before setting an outright PB for the car. <laughs>
the quickest RB30 block manual True Street GTR for 2022 was a first-time competitor, Romanos, in his incredible R34 GTR RHM built and tuned by B2R Motorsport. It uses an RB30 with a Nitto 3.2 stroker kit with a Ross Performance Products dry sump kit along with a B2R head package capable of handling the boost from the Precision 8685 turbocharger which sits on a 6 boost manifold with a turbo smart external wastegate. Surprise to some, but not to us, it still uses the factory 6 throttles but with a Nismo collector to make almost 1300 horsepower all controlled by the Link ECU. There is a PRP R35 coil kit, PRP mechanical fuel pump kit, and some nitrous to help get it on boost. Although you can see a Hollinger strain gauge gear lever, it's attached to an Albin six-speed sequential transmission. Inside, there is Tillet carbon seats and a Motec digital dash where the factory MFD used to be. Externally, the car runs no wing, but a carbon boot lip spoiler and has front lip and side skirt extensions, plus a vented hood. The 15-inch world wheels wrapped in ET Street R's give a unique look and required the fitment of slightly smaller Silvia brakes. Romanos only needed a couple of practice attempts before he put it all together. <laughs> How many runs have you been out for so far? Oh, we've only had one run so far, that's it. So it's our second one. What's the expectations this week? Have fun or you got a goal to, you've set? Uh, look, if we do an eight second pass, I'd be happy with that, but you know, it's all about the fun. That's it, mate. <laughs> the quickest 2.6 block manual and quickest manual GTR outright at the 2022 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge was Justin Dean in the Onsong R32 from Birong Automotive. It uses one of Birong Automotive's Street Fighter engine packages based around the Nitto 2.8 litre stroker kit and their CNC ported head package. It runs a Precision 7675 on a Hypertune exhaust manifold with twin TurboSmart 45mm external wastegates. There is also a Hypertune intercooler, V2 inlet manifold and radiator. The Mtron KV8 ECU is tuned to make 1100 horsepower and then there is some nitrous on top. Power is transferred through a Samsona 6-speed sequential transmission. The interior is fairly stock except for a Howtech digital dash, Sparco steering wheel and keypad. On the outside, it is also fairly stock with 17-inch Buddy Club wheels wrapped in drag radials with G4 brakes up front. On day one, he kept the nitrous turned off and was running consistent low nines. <laughs> On day two, Justin turned on the bottle with the goal of taking the 2.6 block manual record, which stood at 8.989, and he wasn't going to stop until he got it. <laughs> Like all day. Eight nine five two. Thank you. <laughs> you finally right. got it. Monkey off your back, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, I know the feeling. My first nine was like, that bad. It took forever. So close all day. Yeah. yeah. Just went the other way. And now we're back. Well done, bro. Well Thanks, done. Bro. <laughs> Well, 
Andrew finally has his GTR well into the nines at Cootamundra. No doubt eights will be the next target. And we saw a new 2.6 block manual record thanks to Justin Dean and Birong Automotive. Well done. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for our next lot of coverage of the 2022 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge, where we check out the automatic equipped GTRs and see the true street record broken. See you then.